Yo, what up, it's Don. Same really here. Soul Brothers back up in it and Raina. She got to get in every video to trying to get her IG on blast. Raina's trying to hit a thousand uh, followers on IG. Yeah. So Raina's underscore mustache or yeah. mustache. If you guys want to follow her. Mostly like selfies and you know. <laughs> He's taking selfies. Outfit dude. of days type oh stuff. God, you know? Exactly. Exactly. So most comfortable basketball shoes to wear casually. Yeah. So uh, two categories for us that are most important is cushion. I like to have a really soft and crazy cushion for my casual shoes. And a uh, very nice, I guess like fit slash material. I guess that's two more categories, but. Yeah, um, they kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, I guess like, you know, like if the material needs to be comfortable and then and, and soft, but like the fit also needs to be pretty good. Mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah, so this is our opinion, uh, our, our list of most comfortable basketball shoes, but. Uh, if you guys want to cobble, try to leave links below. Let's get it started off with the Anta KT4 or the KT4 though. They're both very nice. I mean, materials are top notch, very high quality materials, and that flash foam with you know with the crazy soft cushion in the heel and and even in the forefoot is just really nice to just step step around. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just casually walking around, awesome. I wish you could you know test it out, but. They don't make a size. size. What the fuck? What does Clay Thompson wear? Clay wears like a size nine or something <laughs> crazy. He's got oh tiny my feet. God. Um, yeah, they go up to a size like twelve or thirteen, yeah. twelve and a half or something. But anyways, yeah. So that shoe is very comfortable. Next shoe is a KD twelve. You guys already know with that full length zoom. You know what I'm saying? Sitting right underneath your foot, yeah. and it's really full length uh, all the way to your toe. Super comfortable uh, walking around. It's also like not too bulky or heavy feeling of a shoe and uh, upper and it's a pretty light shoe so not a bad shoe to rock casually at all yes um all right next shoe is the kobe 4. yeah kobe 4 pro tro of course um the cushion is crazy really nice uh compression in the heel stepping around um i want to get a pair yeah you should um also not like too bad you know i know summer's coming but like pretty decent uh winter shoe like talking about like rain and stuff mm -hmm. um yeah because it's synthetic talking about casual use because a lot of shoes aren't you know they're, they're so breathable that like water gets water in. and stuff can just get in so easily so yeah. um but overall super i mean the upper needs to break in a little bit at first it's a little you know not going to be like crazy comfortable it's gonna be some crinkling in the toe but other than that super comfortable yeah all right next shoe is the why not zero point doses mm. um I mean, the, it's a very comfortable shoe. The material is soft. It feels great. Good fit. Uh, cushion, the zoom unit is really comfortable. I like to feel that. And also, the fine line in the heel is really nice. I also really like the, like, uh, you know, that curvature in the, in the shape of the outsole and midsole. Yeah. It just makes it like the heel to toe transition really smooth as well to just walk around in. Mm -hmm. uh, overall, really comfortable. Pretty cheap, you know? So. There's that. Next shoe is the LeBron 16 or the LeBron 16 low. I'd say the LeBron 16 is more comfortable. Than the low? Yeah, than the low. Because right. like the material, that battle knit is just so soft yeah. and cozy, man. It's right? Plush. I it, mean, it's yeah. a heavy, it's a boot. Yeah, it is. It's a heavy yeah. boot shoe, but the cushion is crazy nice. Yeah. Um, you know, you sit kind of high up, but you know, that really doesn't matter for casual use. I mean, the cushion, like you can't feel the zoom right underneath no. you, but like, like the KD12, but like you can still feel it like bouncing up and down, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Another good shoe for like, you know, I know the summer's coming, but it's just like a good shoe if you're like cold, if it's cold outside, it's, it's hot nighttime, shoe. Yeah. it's super warm. Yeah, um, but yeah, it definitely is, but you know, summer's coming up, so yeah. just be careful of that. Uh, next shoe is a Harden Volume 3. Yeah. Um, like the, that prime is real comfortable. Um, feels pretty similar to the battle knit from the LeBron 16. Mm -hmm. You know that boost is already comfortable, guys, uh, especially with that soft stroboard material. And um, yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Any Adidas shoes, basically, dude, with yeah, boost. Especially with like, boost. I, I think, even their bounce stuff. Oh yeah, even the really bounce. Good. Yeah, but um, like the Harden Volume Three, I think is the most comfortable boost shoe because of that soft stroboard. Like the uh, what do you call it? Ultra Boost. No, the 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 what's this called? The Marquee Boost. Oh, the yeah. Marquee Boost. <laughs> And like the crazy light boost has like, has like the stiffer stroboard, board, so it's mm -hmm. not as comfortable as far as the cushioning goes as the Harden Volume Three, but they're both they're still still very comfortable. Yeah. Um. So there's that. Also, next level is really comfortable as well. Like there is a little bit of pinching for me here on the sides, um, from whatever they're using. Like it's a little stiff material, um. But other than that, the the 
what's the cushion called again? Light Strike? Yeah, Light Strike cushion is really comfortable. Very, very good compression in the heel especially. And the material is, you know, it's, a, it's like a priming material. Feels great on foot. Not the most like coolest looking shoe ever, but it's a really comfortable shoe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Next shoe is the Adapt BB. Mm, yeah, that, that shoe right is, now, yeah. is crazy comfortable. Yeah, the cushion is, we're really impressed with being that there's moving parts and a whole, you know, self fit, fast fit system, self lacing system. So, I mean, super cozy to walk around. It's a one booty upper. Um, Very convenient as well. Yeah. You just slide it on, it goes, eh, and then you get the, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you got the app, you know, yeah. you look cool. Exactly. Uh, so. exactly. Um, but anyways, that's our list for most comfortable basketball shoes. I mean... Which ones look the best aesthetically? Uh, what do you guys think looks the best aesthetically? The bronze. The bronze, yeah, the bronze is really good. I think the BBs are pretty dope. Yeah, the BBs, definitely. You know? Um, and I, I think that's about it. Maybe... Maybe the Kobe 4s? Yeah, because that's big too. You know, yeah, it's casually is yeah, aesthetics, aesthetics, you know? Yeah. But the LeBrons are fire. It's one of my go-to um casuals to uh basketball shoes to rock casually exactly i gotta get some more pairs i'm just waiting yeah. for like you uh, have the black and red the bread pairs black and uh, red yeah yeah those are dope yeah those are dope um but anyways that's our list tell us what your list would be down in the comment section below thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next one later Peace.